Hi everyone, welcome to hashtag be creative boo. Uh, this is an open collab hosted by Terry at the Tapping Flamingo. And so go visit her channel as well. Each month we have a different theme. This month was boo. And uh, I am posting on both channels. My other one already went up. I'm a little late getting this one up today, but not too bad. It's still morning, right? Anyway, um, I couldn't decide what to do. And I knew I wanted to use this um, punch, which has a ghost. Um, here's the ghost. And I had paper left from Stampin' Up, of course. Um, and it's called Cute Halloween. It's retired. It was from the 2021 mini catalog, but it's adorable. And it has ghosts you can punch out of the paper. So I punched out several of them from the paper. And I fussy cut out some. And then the only other thing I used from this is the Hey Boo on a couple of the cards. So let me put that away. And then I also used um, some of the stickers off of here. Mostly... I think a spider and some of the words that was from um, Beautiful Night, which I was going to use that paper. I have a paper collection, but I didn't. I did, ended up not using it for that. And um, my starting point was the Oriental Trading glitter paper. I had some scraps like this left, and I had enough in purple, orange, and black to punch with the retired Stampin' Up! Starburst punch. Seven um, fancy edge circles. I don't, I guess you can see it better on this one. See like that. So I only had enough for one purple, a lot of black, and then two orange ones. And I didn't open new paper to, to do this. One of them I used this, um, I love this stuff. I probably ought to order more before it retires. Um, it's in the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog on page 145. It is called Metallic Mesh Ribbon and has been around since uh, July to December 2020. And um, this is retired now, uh, the organdy black ribbon, black organdy, glittered organdy ribbon in black. They have it in white currently. I also used on some of them the two inch circle punch using that paper like here and here I think there was oh and this one here I used a few of these little ghosties foam stickers which I think I got at Walmart yes Walmart and I used a few pieces out of this pack of ephemera and I have no idea what the brand is on that but it was already open some of them were too big but I used a few that weren't I used a few brads from doodlebug design boutique brad spooky town assortment which I had gotten from Tuesday morning boy that's really glary Tuesday morning and I used some pumpkin pie colored embellishments from Stampin' Up's retired holiday rhinestones. I used a few gorgeous grape glossy dots, which are current. There's the information. I'm not a demonstrator anymore. Um, and these are retired cute stars. And I used a couple in the purple. I might have used all three colors. I can't remember. So anyway, these are what I made. I'll show them to you a little closer one by one. This is the paper, the cute paper. Uh, I, I ended up putting these extra strips I had across the back on several of them. I don't know. I was originally going for artist trading coins. Yeah, that didn't work. So now I just call them embellishments because I ended up with these strips across the back. These two are brads. These are embellish um, gems and then these are also those retired stars in the purple and orange and the brads on this one I actually did poke through the orange uh, I'm sorry the top paper but it's um, on top the orange one and then this one this was one of the stickers out of that beautiful nights it just said boo 
this was punched out of the paper. This I fussy cut out of the paper. He has a little magic wand there. And this was one of the brads, but I cut the the metal arm things off and just put it on there with black mini dimensionals. If those little arms get sharp when you cut them off, you either have to file them down or in this case it's on the paper so you won't feel it. And um, I did put a strip of the paper I had left and a, another strip of the glitter paper I had left and pumpkin pie colored jemmies. Down here, uh, this same, this is the black glitter paper, some of the cute Halloween paper, the punch out, a brad that says boo. Now that one is, it goes all the way through and I put a piece of, um, actually, um, what is this stuff, post-it note tape on the back so it can peel off, but I might have to put another backing on that one. And these are pieces out of that ephemera pack, the candies, because he's carrying a little candy bag, right? And some pumpkin pie jammies. Pretty easy. Here we have the orange glitter paper, the circle cut out, a two inch circle out of that uh, Halloween paper, a piece of ephemera candy, actually, yeah, just one. It has the little wrapper things on it. Then this is a sticker out of the Walmart pack. And I stamped Hey Boo. I went around it with um, Dark Highland Heather, actually alcohol marker, and it kind of bled into the paper, and I wanted that look. I wanted it to look a little eerie. And underneath that, I went back and forth three times. You can see a little bit poking out down at the bottom with this uh, burgundy glittered ribbon. And this is up on dimensionals because this is dimensional. And I kind of got it, um, I actually had to take off some dimensions because I forgot he was puffed up. But these two over here on this side aren't really sticking on to anything, so I don't know. Let's see, okay, next up is this one, black glitter paper. The paper um, out of that pack says boo. Actually, the flip side of the paper that had these ghosts on it had boo all over it, so I used that. This was another one I just kind of fussy cut around it a little bit. Piece of candy corn, and then this sticker's out of Beautiful Night. And it just says the Boo Crew, which I stuck on a piece of the glitter paper and to put some of the purple, the gorgeous grape purple jemmies on it. Let's see, I showed you that one. And this one is the purple glitter paper. It has um, like a purple and white swirly candy topped by an orange one that didn't have the um, the wrapper on it, just the candy and it has stars on it. And then I just stuck one of the Walmart stickers on and Hey Boo again, only this time I went around the edges with pumpkin pie color. I don't know if you can, I'm sorry, you can see it. And then I put purple jemmies on and some of the ribbon also just twice back and forth on that one. And the last one was this one. Um, this used a piece of ephemera, a piece of that paper laying underneath the black starburst, and um, ephemera sticker, sticker from Beautiful Night. And then this I just cut out of that paper roughly. You can see I even have a jaggy edge there. Um, I thought I'd leave the house on that one too. And yeah, I think, I think they came out kind of cute. I'll show them all to you one more time because this light is just bad. There you go. There's one, two. So I have no idea what I'll use these for, <laughs> but they are buoy and they're creative, I think. So let me know what you think. You could use them on cards. You could use them on, oh, bag toppers might be an idea. Put them on your bag toppers. They would fit because they're small, um, fairly small. This one is iridescent, so the light is really playing games, but yeah. And then lastly, this one. But I think they came out cute. I tried to add a little dimension to them. Um, 
and this oh that brad i showed you um yeah i tried to add a little dimension but not too much and i didn't want them to be too too big so that's my project for hashtag be creative and i probably will use one or two of them for bag toppers um now that i said that so i mean on a bag topper as the decoration i think this one would be cute all of them are cute for bag toppers all right everyone thank you for watching talk to you again soon hugs love and peace bye